Welcome. We are officially into the middle of October, which means we're full blown into fall in the autumn season, a perfect time to pull out your fall fashion. I am sure many of you have. I know that I have with the climate that we are in. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you some fall fashion ideas that I have put together. Some of these are going to be more dressy, some more casual. So there should be something for everyone. As always, I encourage you to click on the very top link in the description box below this video where it says corresponding blog post that is always going to be your easiest place to shop from. I have provided links for everything that I am wearing. What you have to understand is I have a pretty well curated wardrobe so I don't purchase a lot of new items. Many of the items that I'm wearing today and in, in, in the footage that I share are pieces that I already had, but I will indicate what is new. I will also share with you that all of the footwear that I am wearing in today's video is new and current this year. In fact, I'm actually teaming up with Dream Pairs for today's video. Dream Pairs is appropriately named as they are committed to creating women's dream shoes. This includes modern design and ultimate comfort, which is something I'm always looking for and I'm sure you ladies are as well. So let's dive into the fall looks and I will walk you through step by step of each one. Don't forget that all the links will be provided. If something is old, I will have the website where I purchased it from. Starting with the pointed toe Chelsea platform boots in brown. These are also available in black and white. I love these because I'm a heel girl, but I need to incorporate something that doesn't have a big heel. So I love these and I love the color brown. The first outfit with these booties, I am pairing it with the same color blouse. And then I have more of an off-white denim. Then I also have a chocolate brown croc belt. And I actually have a croc handbag to go with it. And again, everything will be linked. If it's new or available, well, really everything, all the sites will be. But this is a great look. I love the dark brown with that more cream or off-white color. And here's a more casual look with a chocolate brown long sleeve tee with a pair of denim. And these are more of a trendier denim. Not always my favorite, but I, I like these. It is more of a trend, this little bit looser look. And I don't know, a little bit more casual look. I think it's worth having a pair in your wardrobe, so I would definitely recommend that. And I do love these ones for that look. It's just not always my go-to style, but I think this looks great with the boots. And again, same belt, same bag. I will also have any jewelry pieces or any other accessories linked as well. While I'm wearing this look, I swapped out the Chelsea boot and I put on these nude color. Now these have a heel, but a nude colored pointed toe boot from Dolce Vita. I absolutely love these. You know how much I love my nude footwear and this is year round, so boots included. So just thought I would swap out the boots to give you two different looks. Sticking with those same nude boots, booties that I love so much, I tried it with another look. I actually put on a black button down silk blouse. This is available. I have this blouse in several colors. I have several silk pieces from this website. So I will have all of the details linked, but black blouse. And then I put on an old, old, old and ancient pair of blue jeans that have more of a high waist, which I think they're so in style right now in a wider leg and more of a kind of mid-tone color of denim. Um, but I love this, this look, this is me. <laughs> this is really a, a me look, these type of denim. I swapped out those denim and I put on a cropped denim. I believe these are no longer available, but I do have the website. So just another different look so that you can kind of see the different ways that you can play around with your booties or your footwear. Another look that screams me is this one here where I just have a nice crisp, 
button down, white button down blouse with a pair of high waisted dark denim trousers. Love. Both of these pieces are available. So basically this whole entire look is all available. And this is another look that is just Mm, right up my alley. To give you another look of these booties because I didn't do a close-up of them, but this is what they look like and they are a beautiful leather. If you recall the first boot that I shared with you, the brown, well, I also have those in black. They are just the perfect boot, booty. I can't recommend them enough. So again, this is called the pointed toe Chelsea platform boots, same as the brown ones. And again, they are offered in black as you can see here and they're also offered in white. Now what you're going to see with this boot is the blouse that I'm wearing today, but I'm going to show you some different pant options. I'm actually going to show you four different ways to style a printed blouse like what I'm wearing today with black pants. Let me also share that I love this blouse and it is new and available. I purchased the matching pleated skirt. I will have it linked. It is in route. I ordered it in two sizes for something that's coming up that I just think it would look so nice and I plan on belting it. I will keep you posted, so make sure you're signed up for my weekly newsletter. I, that comes out on Friday and Sunday, and I will share in there how much I liked the skirt, and I'll also have links there, but I will have it linked. So the very first look that I did with this blouse and these black Chelsea boots, which I love pointed toe, let me also chime that in, if, if you don't already know, but these are a pair of faux leather leggings, and I think this is such a lovely look. If you can't pull off faux leather leggings, then I also have an option of a, because I love black leather, or. I love leather, I love black leather. Yes, you love black leather. <laughs> I also have this same blouse with these high-waisted black leather trousers. They're belted and I like this look as well. I tend to look a little bit better and, and we'll insert, um, I'll insert the, the leggings again. So if you see the leggings or maybe let's do a side-by-side, -side. here's the leggings look with the blouse and then we also have the black leather trousers. Because of my frame, I think I look better with the with the black leather, like the skinny legging look, um, but I do love the trouser look. I feel like when I wear these black leather trousers, because of my frame, I need a fitted top or fitted shirt, not a blouse like this. So that's just another little fashion tip because I really wanna help you depending on what your frame is. Now let's move into, let's say a workday look. I have a pair of black trousers here. I absolutely love these. It's a great style for me. Again, still wearing the nice black pointed toe Chelsea boots that I also have in brown. And then if we go into the last look, this is just with a pair of black skinny jeans. No distress because I'm not really a distressed person. I'm 51. I just I know some ladies at my age do, and maybe mild distressing. I do have a pair of black skinny jeans that actually look great on me. They're older, but I just, they have too much distressing, and I think maybe a rip or whatever. Just not really my style anymore. But I do love this look as well, and I still, skinny, skinny jeans or skinny pants are a great look on my figure. So it's all about really creating and selecting what type of pant is going to look good on you. And again, same handbag with all looks. Let me share that that handbag is also the same handbag that I had with the brown Chelsea booties and I had the brown bag. So it's the same exact bag. I actually have this handbag in three different colors. I don't believe the brown croc is available, but the black still is. And then I also have this bag in cappuccino, which is kind of a taupe color and more of that neutral color that would go with everything. I want to take a little break here and show you the boxes and packaging that Dream Pairs comes in. When ordering footwear from Dream Pairs, like expected, your shoes will come in a box. But the other thing that Dream Pairs does is they package each individual shoe in its own individual bag. I love this because I actually keep these bags and I use them when traveling. I much prefer putting an individual shoe in its individual bag 
versus putting both pairs of shoes in one bag. So hang on to your bags. In addition, I want to show you a couple of other pair of shoes that are not mine that I got for other people from Dream Pairs because I love what they have to offer. And let me also share that they have children's shoes as well. The website is very easy to shop and I love how you can shop by category. So there's like pumps, heels, flats, boots. They'll also show new arrivals and they have a section where you can shop the look. And I love when you can see how other people styled their footwear. They have everything that you would be looking for in a footwear for all women. And they also have kids and they even include sneakers, boots, sandals, and even soccer shoes for kids. So be sure to check check out the Dream Pairs website. And again, don't forget to use my code. So the first pairs of shoes that I got are these Golden Chain Chunky Loafers. These are actually available here in black, beige, burgundy, and brown. This is such a big trend right now, these chunky loafers. Um, so I got these to gift to someone else. And then another trendy, booty that I got for someone is these Chelsea platform booties in this beige white. These are also available in dark green, black, and nude. I actually love these and I debated on getting them for myself, but to be honest with you, I don't see myself getting a lot of wear out of these, but I definitely have daughters that would get a lot of wear out of these and that was who I gifted a pair to. Moving on to another shoe that I feel is really important to have in a woman's wardrobe, and that is a pointed toe flat. Now, I love the loafer as well, and I don't have any loafers. I may need to go back to Dream Pair's website and see what they offer in loafers because their shoes are so comfortable. But I love these right here. I love a flat pointy toe. These are called the Forever Flat, and this pair here is an courageous caramel or caramel, however you would like to say it. It's spelled with an A, C-A-R-A, -A, so I say caramel. But these are very comfortable. They are a splurge of a shoe, but I have found that because I place so much value on comfort, it is a place where I will spend the money, especially because most of what I purchase today is more classic than it is trendy. Um, I, I've been on the trend train <laughs> when I was younger and I got dressed up and dressed more. Now I am so much more into more um, classic pieces that I will never get rid of and they have to be comfortable and sometimes you will pay a little bit more for that. So I want to show you some looks with these particular flats because if you work in an office and you need a flat shoe and you want something comfortable, Pointy toe always is more slenderizing, so I always recommend a pointy toe. I didn't actually show these flats with a work day look. I could have, but I didn't. I'm actually showing them here with a navy blue blouse and those same pair of cropped denim jeans that I was wearing earlier, and then I did the same color belt. So I think this is a great fall look, especially if your, your fall temperatures are still pretty comfortable and you don't need to go to a boot quite yet. So I love this look with the cropped denim. And then I also switched it out with a black silk blouse. I love silk blouses. I like the way they fit and feel and how they hang. So just a couple different looks for you. And you could always throw a sweater over top or a blazer to dress it up or to um, provide a little bit more warmth. I've also wore the same flats with the off-white denim that I showed you earlier. I actually went out a couple of weeks ago and I don't remember what top I wore, but I feel like it doesn't matter. These flats will go with everything. We're going to move on just to the last look where I just have a pair of white sneakers and I, I know that they are still available. I've had them for a couple of years. I just threw them on with some basic pieces. Um, it's just a pair of denim and a white button down blouse, the same one that I showed earlier. I know a lot of people like this look. I'm, 
I will never get sick of a white button-down blouse, but I wanted to share this little bit more casual look with you as well, and those sneakers, of course, will be linked. I also, a few weeks ago, did a post on um, closet staples, so I will make sure that that blog post is linked. It's all sorts of wardrobe closet staples that I feel every lady needs. So check that out. You're gonna see a lot of things like a white button down blouse. The last look that I'm gonna share with you is the real wild card. And this is going to be a black over the knee boot. Yes, uh-huh. These boots are called the square toe high heel over the knee boots. They are available in this black which is more of a leather look. They're also available in black suede, red suede, and white. So lots of options, and I love the little toe plate on these, and I absolutely love the heel. So love how these boots fit. Let's take a look at what I did with them. So I don't have a lot of, do I have any right now, dresses that are above the knee. I feel like, these boots would look great with a dress that's above the knee. But I do have shorts and I love, especially black leather shorts, I love when people wear black leather shorts through the fall and even winter. And in the winter time, I would probably put on a, um, like a sheer black hose and then wear the underneath the the black leather shorts and then and then put the over the knee boots on but for fall i would leave a bare leg and i'm going to show it share some with you so i love that look and since i didn't have a dress that i could think of that's above the knee i could only give you looks with uh, these over the knee boots with shorts but i'll show you some options so let's take a look the first look is just with a black cami. I have this cami in several colors. I absolutely love it. And I just threw on a black, a little bit oversized blazer. This is a little bit older. A simple black belt with the gold hardware and good to go. Keeping that black blazer on and the camisole, I actually swapped it out and put these really beautiful magenta, purple magenta orchid type color, I'd say more of a magenta, linen, more, I would say they're pretty much linen short that are belted and high-waisted, so I love this look as well. These shorts are still available, and I also have them in the natural color called Ecru. Going back to the black leather shorts, here's a pop of color with this more teal. I would say it's more of a teal than a turquoise, but it could be kind of a cross. Uh, but I love the look of this. Uh, I just think I love a pop of color. So this is just another option that you would have. And then I also swapped out that blazer for a more of a purple shade and I absolutely love this color you probably see me wear it quite frequently or if you've followed me for a long time you know I wear this color quite often and then I threw a belt around this one just to give you another look of cinching in the belt so those are some looks that I have with the shorts but I decided hey let's throw in a pair of black basic leggings and in this last look I have a pair of black basic leggings, the over-the-knee boots, and then I have a camel-colored sweater. Now, I threw a black trench coat over top only because one of my pet peeves with leggings is, unless they are like the faux leather leggings that I had earlier that don't, that, that are just a little bit different than like a like more of the cotton legging. I don't like the basic leggings that are just that simple cotton where your butt shows. I think that most of your bottom should be covered. So I wish this, I wish I would have had a larger sweater in the camel that would cover more. Because I didn't, I didn't want to show you a look that I probably wouldn't go after. So I would recommend more of a big or even a chunkier sweater to wear with the leggings and then do the over the knee boots. You don't want it too big, the sweater too big, but you know what I'm talking about. Just to cover most of your, most of or all of your bum. So I threw the black 
black trench coat on just to kind of give you a look that I would do if I knew I wasn't going to be taking my coat off. So there you go. There's some options for fall. Let me know what your favorite look was or is. Um, I know which ones are mine. Um, you may be able to guess. So feel free to do that as well. Don't forget to check out the Dream Pairs website. It will be linked in the description box below this video. Don't forget to use my exclusive coupon code TRACY to get 20% off on orders over $20. 25% off on orders over $85 and 30% off on orders over $150. This coupon code can be used on whatever footwear you choose on the website as long as your checkout amount or your purchase amount meets the requirements for the exclusive coupon code. So check it out. And um, I hope I could inspire you today with some fall looks and would love to hear any thoughts that you have. If you like today's video, be sure to give it some love. And if you're not subscribed, please take care of that as well. Coming up very soon, in fact, within the next couple of weeks, will be Christmas gift guides. This will be, what, my fifth or sixth year doing the gift guides. There's three gift guides. There's three for the ladies, the luxury gift guide, the $25 to $50 gift guide, and the under $25 gift guide. And then I always do my annual men's gift guide as well. So be sure to be watching for those because they will all be coming out in sequence starting the last week of October. It's, it's coming up. The holidays are coming up. So maybe some of the looks that I shared with you today could inspire you for some holiday looks as well. Thanks for being here and I will see you right here next week on YouTube. Take care.